got into our friend's house last night. I went to beg us running like shit. It's too early to have the motor apart. You know what? Even if we don't make it, we still made it farther than that kid said. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a luxurious way to travel. Is it in my feelings, shall I? I'm too frustrated. The car's fixed. I fixed it. Your daddy, son. Hey, hey, do your dad. Hey. Let's see. There's the. Oh, thanks for getting that for me, man. I don't have to ride in the mini any. So I'll see you guys later. My car is gonna run great. Have fun. It's Bye. actually it's running a lot better. Is it? You yeah. tightened everything up? Yeah. No, it's like. It was noisy at first, and I was like, oh, God. And then, like, everything just was like, oh, I'm supposed to be working now because Dustin loves me and fixes me. Sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it so gritty? Sugar. Very important to a blog, or a blog. Coffee. And we got Shkata back to Louisiana, so we'll be there like, Shkata. <laughs> Shkata. I'm ready to just got it. I have two ounces of coke in my asshole. Grandpa to be? Not <laughs> car, we go now! It's kind of big. But you know, I'm gonna be a grandpa, so I gotta grow into it. Get in car, we go now! <laughs> What's wrong, Kevin? I'm one of them. I'm fucking sweating up here. Say it again. Can we please go? They're still staring. Stop, Scott! Get in the car, we go now! Yeah, come on, Trey. Dude, uh, grandpa to be. You're fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> you have a sweet tea, too? Yeah. Yeah. Why is he always. That's the worst fucking drink ever. <laughs> sweet tea. Just trying to. You stay. drink sweet tea more than my fucking grandma. <laughs> See, this is a good man right here. He buys a kid herd and not a half and half, so I can have some. You know what? <laughs> Such a fucking leech. <laughs> she didn't even card me for this. Because you're fucking old. If we win, we have to spend all the money before we uh, leave this gas station. Yeah. Match any numbers to win the number. We didn't match any numbers. You won! So we lost. Oh my god, we just won the lottery! Can you say how many miles it is? We're not even close. That's gotta be over a thousand miles away. Yeah. Fucked. Uh, we had to stop on the side of the road. Not sure what's going on yet. We got a knock. That's not the good knock we want. Come on. We're fucked. In stranded in Florida, most likely. <laughs> subscribe so we can leave. Uh, subscribe so you can come pick us up. Pick us up. We're on the side of the road. We got stickers if you get us to the house. Yeah, if you get us to the house, we got stickers. We'll make a t-shirt for you, too. We made it to a gas station. This could be its final resting area. Hopefully oh, the locals are nice. Alright, so we got some smoke treatment here. Reduces exhaust smoking. Reduces oil burden. Bites metal metal contact. Helps quiet noisy valves and lifters. We have all those. <laughs> So when that guy stopped us in your driveway that one day uh -huh. and asked us if we wanted to sell it. I should have said yeah. We should have said yeah. Uh, pretty sure we're f***ed. Here's the options I see. One, we'll get my mom to come get us. Two, take an Uber 20 minutes up the road. There's a bus that leaves at 8 o'clock tonight that goes to Baton Rouge. It's a hundred and something dollars a person. Not worth it. Three, we motor swap it. Four, we see how far we can get. You want to know what the real, the real, all right, there's a road that runs parallel to 10 called 90. We go down 90, we go slow as hell, and we just try to get as close as possible. We just go the scenic route, we take twice as long, and we pray to God the rod doesn't go through the side of the motor. <laughs> and we get as close to home as possible, but we're going more like 35, 40 miles an hour versus like 65. I think that's a good game plan. Mom, help. <laughs> mom. I haven't even told my mom that we're. Mom. 
Alright. <laughs> a message from Kevin. I feel upset. And we're stranded. Mom, please come get us. Instead of today's being video being a wash, it might actually make something. <laughs> stranded. Here's me on the phone with my insurance company. Hello, I'd like full coverage. Me taking a right turn. <laughs> Hi, um, it's been an accident. Pull the pen, throw it inside the Winnebago, run. I want Dad. Can I have this? Yeah. Can I have two of them? I, no, I, I, I want Dad. You can't buy alcohol here on Sunday. Yeah. Wish us luck. You got a jiggled signal. Probably should have got another bag of ice, for being honest. I don't like that sound at all. No. Just, just keep swimming. Bitch. We can make it to Alabama. I'm chilling. We can make it 10 minutes of the route. I'm chilling. We're kind of just traveling into nothingness. Sorry. We're fucked. She died. We're just coasting. Coasting along, making our way downtown, outside of a tiny city called Monticello. Oh, we did get further than we thought. Should we get out and run with it and get in that? Yeah, we can push. <laughs> you went in my feelings. Behind you, check behind you. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? So you ever, ever leave from beside me? Alright, Kevin. Alright, that was pretty good. Yeah, was good right? Alright, folks, she's done. We put a rod through the side of the block and uh, she's not coming back. Yeah, boys. We didn't even get the stickers yet. That's my most, I'm most disappointed about that. I'm gonna go ride up to town and see what's up. How far is town? I don't know, we got a while. That's all. All right, Dustin and I are gonna ride the to town. Kevin's gonna stay here and man the fort. We're screwed. Hi. Welcome to Monticello, Florida. Home of Jefferson County fighting tigers. We've ridden about three miles. We're almost at the town, so. We could kind of still see the Winnebago. The guy bought it for his dad to live in, so it stayed in a park for most of the time. The New Orleans. <laughs> Only thing you got. Okay, we're just in this one horse town. We took a right off the main road, went back, kind of saw this old man. We told him what was happening. He's like, You want to sell a van? I was like, Yes. I was like, 1500 bucks is yours. So if that's not like fate or destiny, I don't know what is. Shout out to all the guys that like Winnebago's. He used to work for him too, apparently. There's no way that we just went down this random road and we broke into this random town. Mm -hmm. I don't know, let's it keep works. going. So now we're gonna try and find a U-Haul and get out of here. We found a U-Haul. If we can secure this, we are on track. But we're struggling with cell service right now and uh, this might be a good video. All right, we found a tail. All right, we're being pulled in the bago. Right. That's why I asked for that word. We might be in business right now. We might be selling this thing, hopefully. Uh, I told him 1500 bucks, so. All right, we're good, we're good. Beautiful show. All right, we're back at my boy's house. Here we go. We're gonna die in this town. Yeah, don't vlog me. No, we're two hours into being broken down. Kevin's having a nervous breakdown. I'm not, I'm just f pissed off. He, he never told me what we were doing. You know? And if he would just been like, all right, we're gonna go, like, all right, that's what you gotta say. You haul, go home. You heard it here first, folks. We're getting a U haul in the morning. Hopefully, this guy buys this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and. We're gonna hang out in Monticello, Florida. Yeah. So welcome to the things to do in Monticello, Florida vlog. We're gonna die in this town. I haven't decided where or when yet. Could be in this truck right now. But uh, stay tuned, folks. We're um, we're stuck here for the night. I'm not hyped. <laughs> Mostly because I'm losing a lot of money. And I have to lose work tomorrow. I'm gonna call my boss. So listen, I'm gonna be sick for work tomorrow. My uh... My RV exploded. 
In the city of Monticello, we are defined less by boundaries on a map than by the sense of shared values our residents hold dear. Small town values, guided growth, preservation of historical, cultural, and natural heritage are just a few of the core principles that make the city of Monticello a wonderful place to call home. We're gonna die here. <laughs> this is base for the night. We're gonna sleep in the Winnebago for the first time. And the last time. And the last time. And we're playing chess because we're smart. Something that wasn't conveyed in here was this town sucked. It had a population of 2,500. It didn't even have a stoplight. And that sounds like a lot of people, but it's really not. Like everyone knew we were there. We stuck out like a sore thumb. So in this story, right now we are banking on selling this RV to this old man and also we have to secure a U-Haul still. Um, we, if that doesn't happen, we're not getting home. This is our first and last time camping in the Winnebago. Thanks for watching. We don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, but. Yeah, I figured tomorrow we just need an actual outro like we actually made it. So, stay tuned, folks. Yep, stay tuned. Love you, bye.